Work in 2020 changed a lot, and with it, my setup. But what stayed the same was a lot of the work was done sitting in front of a computer. And all of that resulted in a lot less movement, which is something I noticed throughout the year, but it culminated in fall with some serious RSI issues, to the point where I couldn't work for an hour without completely incapacitating myself. I knew something had to change, and getting a standing desk was one measure. I kind of embraced the thought, what can I do with the things that I have? I knew that my table legs were adjustable, so I looked at them closely and realized that they go up to a standing desk height. But I had no idea if it would improve my situation or if it's just like a trendy gear thing that I was following. So I said to myself, let's just try this for a week. No money spent and it's very easy to put back. While the first couple days were definitely a strain on my legs, I very quickly decided to make a 30 day challenge because that is what people do. I did some blogging about it to document my experience, but very quickly it just turned into routine and that's just what work is. So I just spent the first day on my standing desk and a couple things. Um, I do feel my legs, wow. The other thing is, I was quite productive today, but I really only go to the computer to do work. If I don't have to be there standing, I am gonna go somewhere else. It's Monday, and today I really don't feel like using a standing desk. Sitting feels really nice today. Only took, mm, yeah, a week and a half. Yesterday has been the longest day so far at the standing desk. I'm still very happy with it. And um, it's now March and I started this whole thing in January. So I went way past the 30 days, which just shows how happy I'm with the setup and how much it works for me. Yes, there are a couple of things here and there I would tweak, but nothing major. And I still haven't spent a penny on it. But there are two things that I want to talk about real quick. One is uh, the types of work I like to do and which ones I don't at the standing desk and what was I most concerned about going into this whole experience. Everything that is routine work, which for me means editing videos, emailing, spreadsheets, everything that's like the baseline of work is super easy to do. I don't even think about it. But everything that's kind of new, that needs a lot of mental resources, I much prefer sitting down. And for me, that mainly means writing but it also means like figuring out a new tool, a new workflow or something like that. And then I was a little bit concerned about the online meetings I would regularly have just because they can run for like two, three hours and standing for that period of time and paying attention sounds kind of hard. Turns out it was totally unfounded and quite the opposite actually. I found myself a lot more engaged and a lot more active in the conversations and contributing a lot more. When I was sitting down, it's super easy to like open up a browser window and I don't know, doodle something or get distracted in any other kind of way. Now that I move around, I just participate a lot more in the conversation and I'm a lot more involved in it. So I think this is one of the key takeaways here. Whatever I do at the desk now, I'm a lot more focused. So I'm super curious about how your experience has been, how your work setup has changed over the last 12, 14 months. Um, please let me know. And if you really wanna have a deeper conversation about it, find me on Clubhouse. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Boo! Is that how the YouTubers do it? Is that how it works? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling now. But how do I make this feel like I'm not recording? How does that work? It's now March.